this is The Underground on 69.3 The Dawn. My name is Hubris Man Pants, and we have Nemesis over in the producer booth, as always. Mm. How are you doing tonight, Nemesis? Terrible. Don't want to be here. Well, let's just go ahead and get right to it, Nemesis. We have some unfortunate news, and we're not talking about the continued existence of Sugarland, although... I did send them a bomb. They sent it right back and said, stop trying. Yeah. So that was a waste of time. That was a, that was a waste of money because that thing was not cheap. So I know that we discussed on uh, the last show that we were going to have Nickelback and we had booked what we thought was Nickelback. Turns out uh, Nickelbag, a local pimp and uh, street hustler, drug dealer, uh, is who we actually booked. And by booked, I mean purchased narcotics from. So... Uh, so on that note, Nickelback will not be on the show tonight, but we do, uh, want to go ahead and say Nickelback will have that money for you this weekend. I know you, I know you're keeping that pimp hand strong, but, uh, we will be having that money for you really soon. And, uh, it was not necessary to kill my cat. But it was funny. Yeah. I mean, that's true. Tonight on the show, we have, uh, comedian Mary Berger will be joining us later on. What? Yeah, about that. Uh, booked Mary Berger to replace Nickelback. Why, why would you do that? I just thought that we would want to have a guest, and uh, I just had some things I wanted to ask her about. A guest? What the f*** does she do? She does things. She's a comedian, it says here on this paper in my hand. A comedian? Write ha on a sign, stick it in a bucket of sand, be a better comedian than her. Well, that's what we're going to ask her about, whether or not she's funnier than a bucket of sand. You can ask her about the bucket. That's fine. That's fine. Bring her out here. I don't give a f I don't care. Just, you know, I, I think I'm glad I think that I'm glad she's here. I'm glad too. I think that she's going to be thrilled to see you. Well, uh, I mean, that's definitely going to be the case. I would be thrilled to see me. Uh, but first up, I want to talk a little bit about the fat tax. Fat tax that Denmark has instituted that is going to put a pretty heavy taxation on any food that has saturated fat, you know, like pizza, butter, it's going to jack the price up. For example, a stick of butter will cost 40 cents more, which in European money is probably something really awesome. I would tax them. If they're over there eating sticks of butter, f*** them. Yeah, they shouldn't be eating sticks of butter anyways. That's ridiculous. I would say that if we instituted a fat tax in America, like they did in Denmark, that we would be able to pay off the deficit and put a base on Mars before Christmas. Without a doubt. We could afford to put a bald eagle in every home in America. Without we a can, doubt. We could Easily. build a laser to etch George Washington's dick and balls into the moon within three months. It really is becoming a problem in America with the overeating. Obesity rates are skyrocketing. Really? No, it's Listen, fine. It's fine. You don't know what it is to eat cake. I am eating this cake because it is my great aunt's birthday, and yeah. I just want to show that I. Your how great much I aunt, care. please by all means eat your cake. Look down at it. Think about it. Think about the sugar and oh, fatty likes his cakey. Hey, I do like the cakeies. I likey my cakey. You don't judge me. You don't judge what I do with my face with a cake. Okay, well, cake. Okay, so we'll be right back after this break, and then right after that, we will have comedian Mary Berger that'll be joining us in the studio. I think I think it's gonna be good. I think we're all gonna gonna really enjoy our time together. This time is gonna be bullshit. <laughs> She's bullshit. You're bullshit. I. I think it, that you're going to be a better man for this. It's going to build character. I'll have nothing to do with that. You're going to have everything to do with it. It's on 69.3 The Dump. Okay, and we're back. This is The Underground on 69.3 The Dump. My name is Hubris Man Pants. Once again, we have Nemesis over in the producer booth. We have Mary Berger with us in the studio. Comedian Mary Berger. She's joining us uh, this evening. Uh, how are you doing tonight, Mary? Oh, well, I... I feel a little deceived. I was told that he would not be here. That is interesting. I um, I work you, here. You said that. Like, did over I? The phone. You did I really? Did. I don't remember saying that's, that. That's cute. That's I don't, classy. I don't recall that conversation, 
But hey, you know, we're all here. We're all professionals. Oh, let's just go ahead heroin. and go ahead and, and uh, let's just go ahead and move on. Mary, why are you a stupid whore? Oh, really? This is my fault. This is your this fault. Is I didn't make you a stupid Real? whore. Oh, I'm a stupid whore? That's, okay. that's what he said. No, that's what, I'm here's just what the question what should be. It's the information we're no. getting. Why did I date him for a year? That's the question. Because I'm the shit. No, you and call me Tittylicious in front of my dad. You're Tittylicious. Do you have an answer to that? We're watching season four of Roseanne on DVD, and then she just walks out. Yeah. Season yeah. four. It is, I mean, season four. I if it was season like six. But I mean, I how many understand. times do you have to watch those? That's all we watched for a year. I study it. That you need to take notes. That'll help you with your comedy. There's character arcs over the seasons. Yeah, didn't like every There's, character have a baby? That's funny. That's, that's they really tackled funny. the issues. Fat people having kids. Funny. Can't the tell. issues. It they, was a groundbreaking series. Was it? I thought it was about poor people. That's groundbreaking. Poor people are groundbreaking. Poor people in, in the, the north. They need like, a voice. It's just a shit ton of fat people, and you know how I feel about that. Okay, Denmark. Yeah. Are you Dutch? You Nazi? Are you are you a horrible bitch on stage also? Or just just in life? Yes, yes. I'm a big fat bitch because I didn't want you to move in with me after the second date. I don't want to watch Roseanne all the time. You got me Nickelback tickets for my birthday. Well, this is how you remind me. You could get taxed for being a fat bitch in Denmark. I'm sorry. You're not, though. I'm not. You, That's true. You no. Know. <laughs> this is great radio. Really? Yeah. It is. We are an asshole. That's not debatable, I guess, probably. It's been said. I think it's been said before, but let's, let's not worry. We're here to talk about me. We're not talking about we. We are here on 69.3 The Dump. Mary Berger, comedian, horrible slut bitch. And uh, we're just discussing a little bit about uh, your career as a comedian and as a, a filthy troll. Stop! Stop with the air quotes. I'm. I'm. I'm I was I'm partying. a legitimate he member does. of society. He likes to party. Legitimate. Really, I mean, really, you like to party? He does that, like to party. I know yeah. For a fact, party. When's the last time you went to work? Like, got a real job? This isn't a real job. What? The, cool. I I work on a a, a fucking show. This is a show. Really? It's, Where it's, do you live? Where did you live after I kicked you out? I, I, you I'm, a, I'm a nomad. I'm a citizen of the world. Hmm. I, I live everywhere. Isn't a world that waffle place out by the airport? Yeah. They've got fantastic bacon. You know, we've talked a lot about you as a person. What about you as a tramp? What? Did you tell him what you said when my grandmother died? Do you, you remember that? You remember that? Sleep, you I don't know what you're talking about. Grandmother, did you? You <laughs> said, good, her glass eye scares me. <laughs> it's, it's creepy as hell. It was creepy as hell. It was he cre paid the grave digger. <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> that's, that's a little weird. You probably the bribe was shockingly low. Well, I mean, grave but, diggers. Right? Yeah, I mean, what are they? But no, I do not have the, the eye on me. If I did, I would throw it at you. Everybody does comedy, but let's let's talk a little bit more about y'all's relationship. So what was he like? Please, I haven't spit up in 10 minutes. What was he like as a boyfriend? Let's, tell, let's talk a little bit. Let's, let's talk a little about Nemesis as a boyfriend. Sweet. As a, as a boyfriend? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I will leave. No, Do it come again. on, come Please, on. We're no. all we're all professionals here. I'm professional, not so much you. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're a professional. Nice sunglasses, asshole. These sunglasses are sweet. These were like seventeen dollars. I didn't even buy the cheap ones. No. Oh, did you not? He paid hmm. extra for those. You went to Walmart. What? Where you got everything. Everybody hates on the Wally World. Did you get did they you or did you not buy me jewelry savings. from Walmart? I went to the Walmarts and I got her <laughs> Did you see he makes everything plural? Like, what is that? It's bigger than most two stores combined. But well, let's focus. A pair of underwear. Did you go to multiple Walmart stores? You no. went to the Walmart? Who the hell does Did that? Did you just go to one? It's all under one roof. That's Walmart. the point. Walmart. It's one. Yeah, Walmarts. I went there, and I got her a set of earrings for our three-week anniversary. That's where I get my underwears from. I think we should talk a little bit about the bound chicka wow wow, as they say, of y'all's relationship. You How can't talk about something that wasn't there. Wasn't there in what sense? You've seen him. That's just... Did you tell her? 
It was one time in the locker room. I just looked for a minute. So you understand why things would be non-existent for me there. It's little, but it's fierce. Oh, is it? I've I, never seen it. It's the angry spud. You just got to coax him out. <laughs> it's, it's like a Coke can with hair. I can show you where you merged our bank accounts together. It was a good idea. You get me... tax cuts. You listed yourself as a dependent. <laughs> so let's just let's just let's just I got audited. Not my problem. Yeah, absolutely your problem. Let's just back it up. Let's back it up here. Let's back it on up. So let's say so took her grandmother's glass eye after she was dead, she died. didn't need it. And lest we forget the uh, reproductive wad. Not good for anybody. Yeah. Seen it. Not good. It's not good. It's sometimes it's not the size of, of the game. Um, no. But the field it's playing on. I just. You know. But if sure the if, field is non-existent. I've lost track of this analogy to be honest with you. Uh, Even if what you're driving around is an 18 wheeler, if you're in Mammoth Cave, it's not gonna feel nothing. I get the implication there. He called your vagina a huge cave. Oh, I got it. Oh. And you gotta watch the stalagmites. Not a good time. I don't know what that even means. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just go ahead and bypass the stalagmites. We'll talk about that after the show. <laughs> um, but it sounds to me, based on the evidence, that it may be you were the asshole in this situation. Oh, so I'm the asshole. I'm yeah. just saying, based on what I'm hearing, could you give me four reasons why you were a good boyfriend to uh, Titty Licious? I took her out to eat at the Waffle World at least once a week because she likes the bacon. Who doesn't like the bacon? It's more than he takes me. Whose money did you use to pay for it? I used the you, money in my account. And then on whenever we went to Walmart, I would let her push the buggy. He would ride in it. I'm I had to push him. We got kicked out of Walmart so many times because he'd put up a fight. It's a big store. I'm they not walking that whole time. They you not to. If I walk all over that place, then I can't bass drum the next night. I just can't do it. My ankles will be tired. He has sensitive ankles. And uh, fourth, yeah. her library card had expired. And so I'm the one having to check out the books all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I might have stolen their overhead projectors. Good thing you paid for it with your money then, huh? Out of my account, Yeah, yes. out of your, yeah. I gotta so. tell you, you're not making a real good argument here, Nemesis. Scale of one to 10, all this is at least a four of awesome. I'm confused about the scale. To be I, honest yeah, I don't like. I haven't got past four, the stalactites. Up generally, here. four would be on the low end. Like, if it's you would have graduated high? from high school, you I didn't have to graduate. I turned seventeen. I'm not sure if that's legal. I don't think that's. I th I'm not one to judge. Don't ever think it. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm more attractive. That's compared probably, to what? That's a better than average chance of being true. Sisters on her. Is your, is your sister pretty hotter than you? Or? I, I don't know. I wouldn't say she's hotter. I mean, I know it's kind of I weird, mean, but I mean, do you think, I mean, bonable? Like if you had to you gender your head, had to sleep. I would not. If you had to sleep with a sister, would it be your sister? If your vagina was a penis, would you put it in your sister? Would we be siblings? Or just, I met her in a bar. I think you're overthinking this. It's an all. easy question. But yes, I would bone my sister. But, yes. All right, so, you know, I think that, that we've all learned a lot about what it's like to be in a relationship with Nemesis. A rock star. A rock star like Nemesis and with Mary Berger, comedian. Stop. I'm sorry. And I... I feel like that 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 we've really come to terms with the fact that it was that it was you know it was a little bit from column A, a little bit from, from column B, and I feel like that that a little bit from column awesome, a little bit from column bitch. Really, really, yes, you're gonna call me a bitch Would have. with your cheap yeah. ass sunglasses, sunglasses, making everything plural. No go home. high school I'm diploma. Put your grandmother's glass yeah. eye up my. So she can look yeah, at what okay. awesome looks like. Whatever. She can look at my colon and You be know like, what? My sister would yeah. never fuck you. Your sister would. She I'm going to go fuck her right now. Whatever. I'm going to go get on you know what? Miss Sister Burger. So, Whatever. Please. Fuck you. 
Man. Whew. This is your fault. You know, I, you know, I just, I thought it would be, it would be, it'd bring some closure to, uh, to the situation. Because that's necessary. Well, you know, listen, let's just, let's just put it behind us. And I was thinking maybe we could see about spelunking in that mammoth cave you got going on, you know what I'm saying? Check out those stalactites that Go we were hell. talking about. I just, no, come on, now, come on now with the... Alright, well, this is Huber's Man Pants uh, well, on uh, the Underground with 69.3 The Dump. We have Ed Mary Berger on the show, comedian, ex-girlfriend, possible date later. Let's see about that. We'll check that out next time. But uh, next week on the show, we're going to have um, President Barack Obama on the show. We've got him booked and the entire... University of Tennessee football team will be on the show here as well. So tune in next week to the Underground on 69.3 The Dump. Hebrews Man Pants, Nemesis over in the producer booth as always. Thank you for tuning in and uh, have a great night.